Hey y'all, Chris from Key Farm. So, if you watch the channel, you know the main project here lately has been the four-wheel drive mini bike, and I'm still working on it, but we kind of got to take a time out because we have a project to do that is time sensitive. And the reason for that is it has to go with me on our summer vacation. So let me rewind. So we try to go to the beach every year if we can. So last year we were down there and the channel was doing great. I had just built the Predator 212 tractor and everything's wonderful. Having a great time down there. So one day I'm lugging my wagon, my Bigfoot wagon that I built 15 years ago out across the sand. And I'm thinking, man, I even said to my wife, I said, there's gotta be a better way. And a light bulb kind of went off. I thought, I'm putting a motor on this wagon next year. Well, uh, keep in mind, they're not going to allow a Predator 212 out there on the beach. I don't know if they're going to allow what we're going to build, but we're going to give it a shot. It's not going to make any sound, so it's not going to draw as much attention. But then again, we want it to draw attention for the channel, but we can't get thrown off the beach. We got kind of a balancing act we got to do here. So anyway, um, and I'm looking around at everybody else and they're all lugging wagons too because look, when you're young and you go to the beach, you take your phone and maybe a towel. But when you're a little older like me and you go to the beach, I mean, you're toting your chairs out there, your umbrella, your cooler, your sand toys, your boogie board, your snorkeling stuff. We got a net. If you see something crazy on the beach, you gotta have a net and go ahead and try to catch it. Okay, so anyway. Um, so, I came in and I dove into the internet and I learned a lot. So, um, there's guys out there that are building some pretty cool stuff out of electric wheelchair motors. So I ordered an electric wheelchair motor. You can see a picture of it right here. Um, look, I'm a gear and sprocket kind of guy. So what I'm thinking is I'm going to build, I'm not, I'm not cutting up my old wagon. I'm building this thing all the way from scratch. I'll probably even use the, remember this thing here? It was an old gate. I'm going to use the metal left over from the mini bike build and build this wagon. Robot beach wagon. Unless y'all come up with a better name. Y'all, this thing's going to be awesome. So, going to have a straight axle in the back. We're going to run dual wheels all the way around. Now look, these are the cheap little Harbor Freight wheels. Um, when they're on sale, you can get them for $3.99 a piece. And the reason they're so cheap is because they're not much good for anything other than a wagon. So bear that in mind. These are not going to hold up to, to a lot of speed. They're not going to hold up for a lot of things. But I've used them on wagons for years. They will hold up on a wagon. So as long as you use them for what they're good for, you'll be all right. So we got to try to stay on top of the sand, not down in the sand. So the first thing I'm going to do is put dual wheels all the way around it. I'm thinking in the back, a straight axle run by that wheelchair motor. Um, a chain to run the axle from the motor to the axle. I like chains. i got chains on everything else I built, except for the boat. It's got a belt on it. Um, all right, the front end. Uh, I looked at the front end of my Predator 212 golf cart, and I think I can build that same front end just in miniature. Shrink it down to the size I need and um, control it with a linear actuator. If you remember the tractor, when I made it radio controlled, we steered it with a linear actuator. And I think this will work for this project as well. So, um, got a lot of fabricating to do. Got some electrical stuff to do. Oh, so check it out. All the other radio controlled stuff I built, I have worked with a controller like this. Well, you're going out on the beach, you don't want to have this big old controller. So, going to run everything off of this key fob. Maybe two key fobs. Okay. This one controls two linear actuators, which means I can use one channel to control a linear actuator to steer, and I can use the other channel to turn the motor on and off through a relay, just like this one. Or I can add another one of these that only works one actuator, 
and maybe I can make the umbrella attached to the wagon and go up and down by itself. I don't know, y'all. The sky's the limit, but it's time sensitive. I got to get this thing built because if I build it and don't take it on vacation, there wasn't any point in building it. Um, what else? If you got any questions, if you come up with a better name, hey, just leave me a comment to say, hey, Chris. Just say, hey, Chris. Look, comments help the channel. I appreciate you watching. Hey, love God, love people, and maybe subscribe. Hey, we do interesting stuff. All right, I got to get to work. Bye.